Hello everyone, Tripsy here, and today we're back with some Starfield. In this video, we'll be going over the weapons and uh, doing some calculations on which weapons are the best. Uh, I'll be doing a whole bunch of min-maxing, so uh, buckle up. It's going to be pretty simple, but still. Uh, funny thing is, I was actually... Uh, recently I received some criticism that I should rename my channel to Google Spreadsheets just because of a lot of the min maxing requires you to have a spreadsheet so anyways uh, let's get started so the way Starfield works is you get 12 uh, energy max per uh, slot so you can see the first slot you get 12 second slot you get 12 and so on same with engines same with shields so I have a website here called Dinara Many of you might know it from Elite Dangerous. Uh, so Inara has all of the weapons available in Starfield at the moment. And uh, it shows their classes, their damage per shot, and a couple of the other nicer calculations. So let's go through the ballistics first. So the first part here is hull damage. Uh, you can see 30 damage, that's for one shot. Some weapons fire quicker than others, so you can see this one fires at 5 rounds per uh, second uh, at 30 damage. Other ones fire at, here we go, so this one is 4 rounds per second and it does more per hit, however it's fire slower. And uh, you can see down here this one does only 18 damage per shot, however uh, it fires at 7.5 uh, rounds per second, so it's much quicker. The important part here that you want to look at is damage per second. Uh, this is for hull damage, and this is damage per second to shields. And it's the same all the way across uh, lasers, uh, EMP, uh, particle, and then missiles. So this is very useful. The other thing we want to look at is the max power. As I said, uh, Starfield has a max of 12 so you cannot put more than 12 power in a single group so that means for this one it requires 4 power so you can only put 3 weapons in that group this weapon here requires 3 power so you can have 4 weapons in that group down here the Vanguard Hellfire requires 2 power so you can have six weapons in that group. So right away you can see that the higher class doesn't mean the weapon is better. So if you can put six of these weapons, the DPS is almost the same. So six of these weapons might do more damage than only three of these. Hopefully that makes some sense. So I have a spreadsheet here that I have made that adds a couple of extra columns. So the max power is 12, that's just a hard limitation of Starfield. And here, max amount of weapons. Here we go. So that's a simple calculation. 12 divided by four is three. So you can have max of three of these weapons. Uh, for these, you can have four of these weapons and you know, so on. It's a simple calculation, right? The important part is in these two graphs here. Uh, three of these weapons multiplied by the DPS to hull is 450. Three of these weapons multiplied by damage to hull per second is 444. When we get to this weapon down here, uh, because you can have up to six of them, we can do 810 damage per second so that's even though the uh, auto gas cannon is a C class which is theoretically the best uh, class in the game the B class which is this one does way more DPS so if we sort the spreadsheet based on the effective DPS we end up with the best ballistic being the Vanguard Hellfire Autocannon. 
the only negative is you got to do six of them so you need more slots on your ship to fire all six so that's the best ballistic uh, the, the one thing to look at when you're comparing these weapons uh, let's see the top one is uh, the Vanguard Hellfire the second one is this one so let's take a look at this one and the Hellfire the range which is the one thing that's not visible on that spreadsheet you can see this one has a thousand range the Hellfire has a hundred however my experience is 200 range is nothing you close that in very quickly in Starfield since the ships fly so fast so Personally, I would run uh, the Vanguard Hellfire, and I do run it. It's it does a lot of damage. So uh, that's for ballistics. Let's take a look at the lasers here. The lasers are the same way as ballistics. The only difference is they do more shield damage than they do hull damage. So in the spreadsheet, let's sort it by uh, shield per second. So you can see this weapon does 152 however you can only have three of them and they do 456 now that's a turret if you want a turret that's I believe the best uh, the best weapon actually this is this is it so but it's a turret again if you want a turret then run this thing if you want a direct fire weapon uh, we need to look at some of these so let's take a look at this one, that's 450, that's the best uh, direct fire weapon. However, if we sort it by uh, effective, then we end up with the Dragon one, uh, 251 as being the top in direct fire. The reason being is because we can put four of these compared to only three of the other ones. So that's the lasers the particle weapons here and again I have it sorted by effective you can see the PBO Hellfire they do the same amount of DPS to shields and uh, hull so they're kind of unique in that way and again their effective is 456 for each and then the second best is the Vanguard Obliterator which does 438 so here we go, here's the EMPs, and you can see this one does the highest amount per per hit, damage per weapon, but however, these are very power hungry, so you can have only two of them. Uh, if we sort it by effective, here we go, we end up with the nullifier that does the highest effective which is 288 so these again even though it's an A class this will do the highest uh, effective uh, EMP damage and then the missiles they're kind of in between the missiles actually do great amount of damage you can see 792 effective however you need to play the mini game so you can lock your target and uh, so you can actually hit your target so the way Starfield works is you can actually run multiple of the same kind of weapon. However, you cannot run the same weapon in, the, in two different groups. So technically you can have uh, four of the PBOs and then six of the Vanguards in a separate group, even though they're both particle uh, weapons. So what I do is I run the PPO as one as one group and then I run the Vanguard as another group so let's take a look at Starfield and here we go we have in the shipbuilder we have six of the Vanguards there is one two and three four five and six we also run the six uh, Vanguard Hellfires, here's those, and then the last ones are the PBOs, which are these, and you can see I have them separated. The first two groups are the particle weapons, 
and then the last group which is w2 is the ballistics and these do a lot of damage now this down here is a mix even though it's 95 if you were to run uh, three of the other weapons they might show higher the reason why they will show higher is because of the range you can see these have 3000 range the other ones will have 3200 range so that's the that's the reason these are the best dps weapons in the game hopefully this wasn't too confusing if you have any questions let me know in the comments i will be going over the same kind of uh, min maxing for the shields and the engines so if you want to watch those videos hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them and i will see you in the next one